All right, today we're gonna check out how to do this emboss trick in Illustrator that I saw quite often now on YouTube. And of course, I won't do it with a regular appearance trick because it doesn't work all the time. So I'm gonna use my own approach. Also make sure that the artboard is larger. For example, mine is 1050 by 1050. I'm gonna select the background color I just saved and I'm gonna go with this light version. I'm gonna select the rectangle, create a rectangle. And I'm gonna select the type tool, type in whatever you want. I'm gonna right click on the text, create outline, and I'm gonna change the text color to something a little bit more lighter. I'm gonna go to the object, pet, offset pet and I'm gonna offset with four and make sure that the joints are around click OK right click on group and I'm gonna select the offset pads press and hold shift select them all a right click group and I'm gonna add a color to this and I'm gonna select a lighter one and I'm gonna go to the layers and I'm gonna bring the offset right above the background so you can see it's a little bit lighter than the background and I'm gonna select the offset press and hold alt drag it down to the left and I'm gonna change the background color to a darker color and I'm gonna right click arrange sand backwards so it's gonna be right under the stroke offset from here I gotta go to the effect blur Gaussian blur and I gotta put it on five click OK and it's gonna make it blurry okay I gotta press and hold alt create a new copy drag it upwards and put it somewhere here and I gotta change the color to white this time so it's gonna make it pop even more and I gotta rearrange the shadow a little bit more I gotta reposition the lighter one and it looks something like this thanks for watching Oh,